This is Garth R.S., the Tireless Adventurer. Here we are, up in the clouds. Masters of all that we can see. And sometimes not see. Anyway, um, I'm standing way up here uh, for two reasons. I wanted to look um, and see what all was around me. Um, and also I wanted to have um, a pretty good overview of my kingdom as it were well, this is my mob farm my animal farm which is I don't know um, horrible maybe yeah I guess that's right uh, basically what I'm doing is uh, I'm trying to get something to spawn there. I mean, I don't I don't see anything spawning. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. you see it? Something just spawned there. It's so awesome. Oh, there's some more. Okay. Um, I stood up here forever and nothing happened. And now, of course, something happens. Um, we got a few things going on there, and they're all going down, so let's go see what happens. Yes, that was a lot of fun and scurry, too. <laughs> okay, so, um, how'd you get in there? I don't like your face. So anyway, they're going to go in there and they're going to die. A horrible death, but I need something that um, won't fall out, I guess. I don't know. Let's go there. Let's see what happens. Anyway, I'm testing a couple of things here, and we'll see what happens. Uh, but the premise behind this is they fall down here. Um, chicons will land in the water. And come over here and dance up on that forever and lay eggs and because I got plenty of feathers from the mob grinder um, ship obviously there's a dead spot there mm-hmm <laughs> uh, but I'm probably gonna have to build a little bit more this is this is phase one but shikons will come out here cows pigs and cheap will come out here um, pigs will be able to come out here because they're one one tall um, so there's that I think sheep are too tall but they're like one wide or something so and I'll just kill you because you deserve it and we'll see what happens um, but I want to go back oh you see this did you see that that was kind of cool that's where I've been getting my water. I wonder if I could plug it like right here. Haha, <laughs> that would be funny. Anyway, um, so we'll see what happens. I'll go back up to the top. See if we can force any more spawns. Um, but that's what I've been messing with today. Uh, a little bit used up a lot of my stone a whole lot of my stone I'd like to see I'd like to get a little bit of the pigs and what have you let's see let me put uh, some wood out here so I can stand right over top of it and now I'll put some glass and some more glass and some glass and a little bit of glass and then glass 
so I can stand here while I talk to you about um, this. I planted that. I uh, planted, I don't know if you can see the wheat farm, but I planted that. Um, I enclosed this because I kept getting creepered every time I'd come back down. There's some more sheep. You think we got enough sheep? I sure would like some sheep. Huh, I wonder if I'll get any sheep. But anyway, um, yeah, I harvested. I, I did make one minor change. If you look here around the base of the trees, I got rid of the dirt. It's now surrounded by cobble with one dirt square in the middle. I was just getting a whole lot of farm animals spawning in there and that's it was a little bit annoying. Um, I'm trying to chop a tree down and I get pigs that are pushing me and causing problems. So that's how that worked out. But um, all in all it's been fairly productive. Um, I built and enclosed this uh, which took a little bit of time. I enclosed that. Uh, Planted my uh, wheat farm, a reed farm, uh, did a little bit of landscaping over there, and uh, let's see. I discovered a fun, fun, fun way to get down. <laughs> it is actually kind of fun, believe it or not. It's a little scary. You're like, oh my god, I'm going to die. And then you don't, and you're like, sweet, I'm alive. So you're dead. But I, what I got to figure out is whether or not these items are going to drop. See, because he just he just goes there. He don't go nowhere else. Let me. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And put that there like that. Get a nice little current going. I want things to run out. Maybe, maybe I'll have to put one more right there and do that. Where'd that sign go? Oh, it's not gonna move. There we go. But anyway, um, that's my goal. My goal is to... There we go. My goal is to uh, get this to work pretty good. Alright. So, I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna say, hey, whatever. You know, and I got I got a lot of room in here, so I really got some room to play around. Um, that's how you fall down right there, like that. Uh, um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to experiment today, and I usually experiment off camera, but today I am going to experiment on camera. On camera. Oh, those are already growing so fast. They're so proud. Anyway. Uh, let's go. Let's go over here. Uh, oh, wait! Before we do that, I want to show you what I did on the inside of here. I need a new porch. It's kind of ugly. It's ghetto. Ah. <sighs> so anyway, it all comes down here now, and I just stand here and collect it. But I logged out, and uh, when I logged back in, I was inside this wall dying. So I had to chop it out very quickly before I died. It was uh, kind of worrisome. I was trying to figure out what the heck was hurting me. And then I realized that I couldn't see anything. And that kind of made sense. But uh, so everything's pretty much the same. I got um, all this stuff going um, on the top. Pushes the spider into this corner. And down below, the next level down, pushes everything towards this hole. So it's kind of like a crisscross applesauce thing going on there. And uh, I extended this up a little bit. Because I found that when uh, mobs were coming up the elevator, they weren't collision. They weren't, you know, bumping into each other. But when they, they were here, they would get into like a little uh, queue where they'd bump into each other and only one would go in at a time. So I raised it up, and now I get like four, five, six, seven, eight up there dying at the same time. It's very efficient. It's a uh, very efficient slaughtering machine. Uh, let's see, do I got what I need here? I'm going to need some of that. Oh, and I realized another thing, which I may have to remedy today, is I figured out why I have not found any wolves. I did a little bit of wiki reading, and apparently wolves hang out in the woods. Who would have known that? I was under the assumption that wolves were plains creatures, that they spent most of their time in the open tundra. Oh, no, I was just being facetious there. Um, as soon as I read it, I was like, duh. Of course they're going to be in the woods. They're wolves. 
But anyways, um, let's take a quick break and I'll get my bags ready for the experiment and then when I'm all packed and ready to go, um, I'll come back. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Okay, I think I'm ready. Um, what we're going to do now is test out a new kind of generator I've been thinking about. Um, we have, uh, you know, arrow generators when you capture a, uh, a, a skeleton spawner. You have web or string generators when you capture a spider thing. And you have feathers with the zombies and creeper poop with creepers obviously but there's one thing that people are like well you know what uh, I just need more flint I need more flint I need more flint so I started thinking what would be super duper awesome flint generator I'm like how would you do that how would you even do that you say well you just you take a stack of um, uh, gravel and you just harvest it over and over and over again I thought I started thinking to myself and I was like self um, why in the world would you do that? So what I got uh, was an idea. An idea. So we'll go like this, and 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 we'll go like that. How many was that? I lost count. That's six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then we'll go here, and then we'll go here. All right, so 15 is what I wanted. So let's go that, boom. And then we'll take this guy, and we'll put it right there. And this is just to get us back down. Uh, I'm gonna fix it here in a second. But what I, uh, the, the idea that I had, I thought was pretty cool. Um, we'll give it a shot, and we'll see how it works out. Um, first of all, what I want to do is I want to go out two on this side and then go this way, five. So this is three, four, five. And then we go five on this side. And five. And then we go this way and we go. And then we go down here like this and say. Okay, now we're, we want to get rid of this one in the middle. Oh, man, why do I always pick the worst time to do things? <sighs> anyway, I'm going to run back to the house real fast and jump into bed and uh, make it day, and then uh, we'll try again. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so it's morning, and I'm about to kick some butt. Um... There's my giant basketball hoop of despair. No, it doesn't need a scary name. I think it's I think it's good just how it is. So let me just look around real fast to make sure the coast is clear. And I move this to this, and then I go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I just threw an egg. That's not even cool. And there's two, and there's two, and there's two, and there's two, and there's two. And that puts me up here. Okay. So to make sure that nothing spawns. I'm not sure if things spawn on wood. I think they do. But just to be safe, we'll put this up here. All right. Now we are... Um, yeah, there we go. So we'll go down here. And I'll show you how to do this. And what, what I think is going to work out. So... This is not what I wanted to do. This is what I get out of the egg. I don't need your stinking eggedness. Alright, so we got this here. Let's put a piece of gravel like that and a piece of wood like that. Alright? Well, we got that right there. So, my midget came for a kiss. <laughs> okay, like what I was saying. Um, then we got this right here. Um, we're going to take this and put a piece of gravel up there. Now, what do we know about um, gravel? Gravel is affected by gravity. So, what we got to do, first of all, is build our uh, Is this how we do that? 
And we gotta build our uh, we gotta build our base, our foundation, as it were, on things that allow me to defy gravity. So uh, to do that, I need well, actually, first of all, let me do that. Okay, there we go. So using torches, I know this is convoluted, but I just started thinking about this and. It's been digging into my brain so much. So, uh, so let's go ahead and put that there, and that there, and that there, and then jump back over here because we will be done at that point in time, and we will not need anything else. Just like that. All right, let me dig down here. You like that? And then we go up the thing. <laughs> Yes, it's Grand Central Station in here today. My wife just stopped in to say uh, something, and I paused it right before she cussed. So she's potty mouth. Oh, that hurt. That sucked. God, that sucked. Anyway, my wife's a potty mouth. She's got dirty words. Oh, don't fall over. Okay, so anyway, um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this up uh, because in order for our stuff to work, it has to be full. Um, it should work. Um, I don't know what the chance is. I think it's like a 1 in 10 for gravel to flint or some crap like that. Who knows? Uh, but when this is full, uh, I think, I want to say it'll hold two and a half stacks. Uh, it takes a little bit of setup. Um, but in the long run, Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to hold two and a half stacks. I might have to go up higher. So, uh, I don't think it'll hold two and a half stacks. Uh, I'm sorry if there's like frequent interruptions, but uh, I am in the busiest room of the house. And usually I have the house to myself, but my wife is off tonight. So, uh, she works swing shift. So, I have a lot of free time in the evenings and afternoons. And then days that she's home, um, we hang out and we had uh, friends over today. We had a little dinner party. Made some, made some hamburgers. She's got this pasta salad that is just delicious, uh, beyond delicious. It's like super duper awesome. Okay, so anyway, uh, now that I've idle chatted your ears off, let's go downstairs and I will show you how to quickly harvest what apparently is just over one stack. Um, we'll see how this works out. Booyakasha. Mmm. Did we get any flint out of that? No, we just got one. That sucks. This is the worst idea of ever of all time. But it was cool to play with. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> ah, I should go get some dynamite and blow it up because of its epic failness. But that was pretty awesome. I wonder what would happen if I made a really super tall one all the way to the sun. To the sun. So, anyways, um, that was one idea I wanted to do. Oh, ow! Oh, by the way, uh, I am going to go wolf hunting here momentarily. Uh, but, like I said, I'm not going to spend like an exorbitant amount of time trying to find a wolf. Uh, but I will, however, uh, give it a shot. Ah, <sighs> let's see if anything at all. Hey, there's chickens! Oh my god, chickens are in the chicken place! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, I need some pork. So, let's go get some pork. Oh, wait, I got pork. So, let's just eat. Let's just eat some pork. Oh my god, that was awesome. Okay. So, I'll go back over here, and we'll cook a couple pieces of pork, uh, so I have something to take with me. I'll stow this gravel, and grab some bones and some uncorked uncooked pork that was hard to say oh my god uncorked pork pork anyway and uh we'll go see if we can find us a wolf because i know absolutely nothing about them and it should be just hysterical to watch me fail all right oh anyways i uh, did a little bit of sorting so i'll put that there put that there 
uh, and I want one more of these and put this over here. I, I put cactuses in the wood stuff. I don't know why. I don't think cactuses are made of wood, but you never know. Oh wait, I want to put this wood stuff in the wood stuff place. Uh, and this gravel in the stone stuff place. And who knows? I am going to uh, just chat your ears off like a crazy man. Uh, oh, I already got 20, 25 flint, but I'm going to chat your ears off like a crazy man uh, since I'm going to be, you know, looking for uh, wolves. Oh, I got some more flint right there. But what we're going to do. Uh, Let's try to find a wolf. And in the event that I don't find one, or it takes me like 30 minutes to find one or something, I don't want you guys to sit there and watch me walk around. So I may do one of those funny speed up things again and throw a few more uh, tidbits. But if I don't, don't take it personal. It's not because I don't love you. Um, I don't love you, but I do like you a lot. And uh, I think you're awesome. But I'm just, it's too early in a relationship for me to use the L word. Don't take it personal. Alright, this is an awkward moment that follows that conversation. But I think that you and I are mature enough to move past it. Alright, so let's do that. Let's move past it. I'm going to put this egg away. And we're going to pretend like that conversation never happened. I have 52 arrows. I have a broken sword. Um, I'm going to need another one. I'm going to need another sword. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. So let me grab... Uh, I need two of these. Uh, I'm just never as prepared as I'd like to be. You know what I mean? I think you guys know where I'm coming from. I think you're picking up what I'm putting down. <sighs> so, while it does that, I will get a stick and something and I don't know I'm just so scatterbrained today see I always have days like this when you know a relationship tries to tries to go to that next level and it doesn't so I'm a little bit depressed I'm a little bit sad I'm not a lot sad but I'm a little bit I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna lie to you actually I may I don't know I have some pretty big self-esteem issues. All right, so we got that, and 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 I got that, 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 that. And since I have so much leather, I don't really know where it's at, but I do have it somewhere. I swear, I promise, I promise, I swear. Where is it? Like a thousand pieces of leather. Not really a thousand. That was an exaggeration. A gross exaggeration. See, I told you. Eventually I'd lie to you and hurt you and break your heart. Oy vey. That's Yiddish for something, but I don't know. Oh, well, I'm going to locate uh, locate the leather and make, make some armor. I'll be back in a minute. Hello, Skellington. Hello. The spider's giving me the freaking eyeball. You see that? Yeah. You know, the poetic justice here is you can give me the eyeball all you want, but you can't swim upstream, and you can't breathe underwater. So now you die, spider. Now you die. As do you. But you're already dead, so it's kind of like a double die. Double die. Okay, so anyway, I found the leather. It was all up here. Uh, because... That was a good place to keep it, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> anyway, chest piece. Anyway, hat. Anyway, pants. Anyway, slippers. I'm going to say slippers. Uh, I'm going to call these slippers of uh, awesomeness. God, yeah, that really rocks. I got a hat. Oh, dude, look at that. This. Is Sparta. Los pantalones de la paper. I don't know how to say paper in Spanish, but I know how to say pantalones. I got a piece of iron ingot there, and I got an iron swad, uh, a stone swad, 
a crap ton of arrows, which by the way is still 2,000 pounds. I don't think it really matters what the ton is. I don't know if it's, you know, if it's crap or play-doh or feathers. It's still a ton. A ton's a ton. You know what I mean? Uh, and I don't like you. Oh, look at this, man. It's like all kinds of stuff. He's looking for me, but he's not going to find me because I am Iron Man. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. But he's looking for me. See? He's like, I see you up there. Oh, somebody just shot me in the head. That is bogus. That's BS. Dude, I'm a horrible shot. Get up. Go. Okay. Uh, all the times that I miss him, you need to ignore those. There you go. Yeah, pay attention only to the five times that I actually hit him with the arrows. The rest of those times, you didn't see anything. You didn't see nothing. Anyway. Uh, while we got a few hours of night time left here, let me stop over here and pick up the collection. Okay. Uh, I'm hardcore armored up, man. I got leather on. I got the paper, cardboard box of doom on my head. And, oh wait, where's the pick? Dun, 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 dun. Pick of doom. Yes, pick of doom. Ah, ah. Okay, let's move on. Um, I added this to here, to that. Come over here and do that. And do this and get over that. Open that door, close that up. Um, and you will notice that there's a whole more, a whole lot more space. Uh, it's because I got rid of all the dirt that was down there. And I replaced all the dirt in here with cobble because, honestly, um, I never came down there to kill the animals. So they were just eating up my animal count. And I got rid of all the dirt down here, which left a bunch of gaping holes um, that I had to light. And I got rid of some of the coal, but not all of it. Like that one right there. I, I left it there because he pleaded begged for his life. Please, sir, do not mind me. I have a family. And I was like, I'm not an animal. I'm not a monster. So I let him live. But I'll harvest him off camera, so you don't have to witness that. Alright. Um, I think it's time. And I know you guys saw me laying down in all of my awesomeness. Dude. Oh, you'll notice the cactus pit trap of utter doom is gone. It failed me for the last time. Um, I walked out my front door and there was a freaking skeleton doing one of those oh, I'm not gonna drown dances and he shot me and I had a heart and a half left because I fell off of this thing while I was making it. And I walked in here to get something and it was it started getting dark so I went upstairs took a nap and I came back outside walked out this freaking door and I had a heart and a half and he shot me with an arrow and I was dead. He shot me until I died from it. So anyway, we are going to go find... Oh wait, let me pick up some of my arrows. Oh, they're all gone. But the creeper poop's not. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that special? Anyway, let's go for a swim. Oh, you see...
turn his head to the side and I say hello Mr. Wolf oh my god he fell in love with me with the first bone did you see that? And there's another one don't worry I will love you forever even if I get another wolf named uh, something else than what I'm going to name you you sir or ma'am however the case may be I will check later off camera um, you will be my second wolf and I will name you Junior there's one there's two oh two it was two bones to make you my love anyway so um, four bones two wolves I don't know it's pretty awesome to me uh, I think we're going to test them out okay a couple of things I don't know I know that you can make them stay or not stay whatever the opposite of that is I think are you coming or yes no oh yes if they get out of a certain range they uh you're gonna run over and kill them. yes get them um, to get out of a certain range they'll teleport to you uh, like if you go upstairs they can't get upstairs they'll teleport to you um, so it's pretty handy oh my gosh would you believe that all this oh yeah of course well I'm not too far away from home let's go onward mush yes well at least I have some animal companions for my trip now I've heard a couple of things about woofs uh, one is that they won't come inside I don't I don't know if that that's true or not uh, probably not true but the fact that they teleport in front of me kind of freaks me out because I'm not used to that yet but I will be very soon Okay, I'll show you what I was talking about earlier. See how this line is like super duper straight? Um, and I'm going to get killed. <laughs> and this line is super duper straight. I was like, wow, dude, that's awesome. And this line is super duper straight. That's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, but I didn't know the how you say deliver my message with uh, any kind of skill um, I'm not gonna make it before full full darkness so yeah let's see you come on doggies oh look a Scarrington did you see how awesome I was dispatching that skeleton. Of course, now that I have dispatched that skeleton handily, there'll be like 14 creepers around this corner. And a pig! Let's see if these guys come inside. I don't think they will, though. Will they? No, see what I mean? They won't come inside. Are they not allowed inside? Let's see if I go downstairs, if they'll come downstairs. Are they teleport down to me? If I get far... Yep, there they are. Okay, that's how you get them inside, apparently. They won't go through doors. You have to run away. But I have two doggies now. Uh, let's see. Do they look anything different whatsoever? Okay. Um, since you both are identical in every way I shall give you both the same name you you will be hey you and you will be hey you so hey you come on let's go upstairs apparently they don't know how to use stairs oh yeah they do <gasps> they're so smart <gasps> yes you're so good don't drag your butt on the carpet Oh, they're both doing it anyway you give them a bone and they sit and you can make them sit now I've heard several things uh, once they fall in love with you they gain a leash or a collar that's not really a leash that's a collar and you can determine the, the state of their health by the altitude of their tail 
Now to get them to stand up again, you right click them with a bone in your fingers and they get back up. But, uh, actually I don't think it has to be a bone, I think it can be anything. Yeah, they'll sit down if you just right click them, you don't have to give them anything. Uh, you can give them uh, a pork chop. Hey, you, hold still. See, he sat down and ate the pork chop. So you don't have to have a pork chop in your hand to get him to sit down. You see how his tail is like sticking straight out there? He's in good health. Now, as his health gets lower, his tail will drop down further and further. And watch when he jumps out of the water. It is the cutest little thing. The cutest little thing. Oh, it's so adorable. Okay, anyway. Mmm. These are going to be awesome. They're going to be so much fun. I'm going to go upstairs, and I'm going to sleep the night away. Uh, since I found the wolf that I was looking for, and I found the... Um, I don't know. What else did I look for? I don't know. Anywho. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... See that? Look at that madness out there. I tell you, hard is definitely increased difficulty some. Definitely. If you like uh, things hard, uh, yeah, the hardest, harder than easy or normal. I, I, should, I will shut you out. See, I don't, they won't come through the door. Why won't they come through a door? Hmm. Might be some kind of clipping thing. Oh, this dude just fell. Are you okay? Did you hear him whimper? Which means his tail's probably going to be lower than the other one. That's how I can tell him apart. Oh, I'll keep one of them injured. That's how I'll tell him apart. That's genius. Uh, there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. But I am. I am. There we go. I am going to come over here and have a look-see at my stuff. So anyway, um, well, apparently that works, and I don't see, where's my other one at? Oh, there he is. He was in the water. <laughs> he teleported into the water. <laughs> Stupid dog. Quit pushing me. Let's see which one. Come over here. I want to see which one of you guys has a lower tail. Uh, this one is just a little bit lower. But not much. Anyway. Um, so that's that. I don't know. They're kind of annoying. They push me. I don't like them pushing me. Stay. It's going to suck if they teleport up here. Ain't it? <laughs> That'll be so embarrassing for them. You know what? I might want to put... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to push me off of here, and I'm going to die. Yes. Yep, there he goes. Don't you even think about it. Okay. Uh, lesson for all you other peoples. Um, I'm going to jump down. Quit it. Bleep. Here's a lesson for you people who have the dogs. Before you go on to precarious perches, um, make them sit somewhere. Because <laughs> they will push you off of things. Oh, you're screwed. <laughs> you're so screwed. <laughs> okay, it's not really that funny. But I'm going to pretend like it is. Ah, so let's harvest the reeds. And um, we'll try it again uh, with the uh, with the dogs. And see where, where they where they go. You know what I don't have? I don't have a stinking bucket. And he's just pushing me now. He's just picking on me. He's just picking on me. I don't I don't have a bucket. Will you quit hurting yourself? Gosh, they're annoying. Come on. 
pooches. Let's go in the house before you kill yourself. Mm, I might have to make a kennel of some sort. I might have to make a kennel of some sort. Mm-hmm. I think so. Let's see. Hmm. My buckets are here. But, um... Yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to cover. I got, uh... I got the wolves. I tested out my flint generator, which was an epic failure. Or a failure of epic proportion. I'm not sure which one yet. But either way, it was not nearly as fun as it should have been. Oh, I was hoping for, like, you know, at least five pieces of flint to justify the labor involved, but I didn't get it, so... It made me sad. I was so sad, yes. That is not a water bucket. Alright. You stop pushing me. These guys are annoying. Go! Bam! You know what would be really awesome? If they could collect resources. Tell me that wouldn't be super awesome. <laughs> it would be fairly sweet. I would be like, dude, you're the best dog ever. But, sadly, they cannot. Uh, now we go and we make... We make a. Uh, let's see. I don't even know how many it takes to plant that, but I can tell you this: I harvested a stack and two thirds. I guess. I don't know what to tell you. 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 Hey. Sit. Sit. Let's see if it works. I wonder if they'll be there when I come back, or if they'll teleport up to me. Setting. Okay, so sadly, um, I have dogs that are moderately awesome. I don't even know what just happened. But a skeleton and a creeper just had it out. Why in the world would they do that? They were infighting. You see that? The genius of that sorter? That's pretty awesome. I wonder if... Oh, he blew up, so I didn't... I didn't get a record out of that. But that was pretty sweet. That was pretty awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, um... Here's what I got. I got two dogs. Fairly awesome. I named them both Hey You to minimize embarrassing wrong name episodes. I have a animal farm that is... I don't even know what it is. I mean, it's a great design, but on a grander scale it is what I'd need for any kind of real benefit. Um, I got a mob grinder that it's, in my opinion, pretty cool. Excuse my language. I cannot believe I just said that. Oh, I am horrible. You guys, come with me. Um, cactus pit trap of utter doom is an utter fail. You, hey, hey, hey! Stand still. Where'd you go? Stand still. Okay. Um, I'm out. Uh, I don't even know what's left. We tried out our flint generator. Uh, it sucked. Long story short, it sucked a lot. Um, I can't even 
console myself by jumping on the bed. Uh, I replaced the most of the dirt with cobble. Um, I enclosed this. I built that. I uh, found some wolves, which we already covered. I'm just repeating myself now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here. I'm going to look around, and I'm going to say to myself, Self, I love Minecraft.